Hello, Joshua Carlin here. Thought I'd do a three-year update on my steam, steam condensate trap, is also known as a chuffing pot. Um, as you can see, it looks quite a bit different than last time. Um, last time, <clears throat> all I had was this plumbed into right there in between there, but now. I've changed it up. I got sick and tired of having to dump the screaming hot uh, chuffing pot is what I'm going to start calling it. Um, so I decided to add a drain. Um, sorry if I sound a little, sound little high-pitched, but give it a little variation. Um, as you can see, I have two drain pipes. This one right here is going to be for when I'm running it on my desk. This one is for when I'll be running it at, on the show. At the show, I should say. Um, this is a needle valve. All this is quarter inch copper pipe or tubing and eighth inch pipe thread. Um, for the people just tuning in, I made this steam condensate trap to replace a system where I had this piece of brass pipe held by a, a crusty sponge right here. Um, going into... Sorry for digging. One of these blueberry muffin tins. Um, this is what I used to use for the condensate trap. Um, I also had a, a T here with the nipple facing down, and that was my separator. Um, now I have this, the final install installment of my condensate trap. Uh, gotta love dogs. As you can see, there's a little bit close up. Here's a piece of quarter inch pipe going into a quarter inch to eighth inch MPT nipple <coughs> or pipe going into here. I have it so that the threads are taken away so this is flush and so it's sticking out. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a cough. Then the drain is eighth inch pipe to quarter inch two uh or eighth inch NPT NPT pipe to quarter inch tubing needle valve and then my drain pipe. Um this is a Jensen model twenty five. Um these small steam engines do produce quite a bit of condensate because they use wet steam and they're not the most efficient type steam engine. Excuse me. Um, I w at the end of this video, I will go through a slideshow on the various installments of my my separating system. I think this works uh, real good. Uh, this is quarter inch pipe going to quarter inch to eighth inch MPT 90, a 45 degree eighth inch, then the original three inch piece of eighth inch. Uh, uh, brass pipe, brass fittings, copper pipe. Um, gotta love these little ferrules, they like to go everywhere. Um, the reason why I have two different uh, pipes is I have two different setups. One for right here for running and another for the show. Um, because I don't really want to dump hot condensate close to people where that can be an issue. So I can just crack this to whatever flow rate I want. Um, and leave it and I don't have to worry about it. And they'll just dribble right on the ground. Uh, 
Looks like Mr. Calvin is down here. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to believe it's been three years since I made it. So, I will be doing a, run, a first run of this setup. I guess it'll work just fine. Um, also, I'm using a lot better camera than before. Here's the drawing. Um, if you guys want a copy of this, send me an email. I will put my email in the description, the link to where I got the steam engine. And that way you can make your own. This is a lot cheaper option um, than some of the professionally built condensate traps slash chuffing pots. And it's been, sorry about for knocking the camera, but it's been three years. And I've only gone through this much steam oil. Um, I gave mm, about a bottle that big around and about mm, that tall to a friend who has a model steam engine of his own. And I have some in my uh, steam... Uh, parts box right there. I got various oils, pressure gauges, so and what originally spurred this video is I I've partially decided to make a update video on this. Um I'll be right back I'll do some shuffling off the scenes and I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, when I uh, built this, sorry, I gotta get my camera situation situated. Um, I based this level off this height of this exhaust right here, and I had to use this plate. There was a little nub on here where I could basically have this rock back in order so condensate wouldn't dribble right here and with this system I think I got it fixed um otherwise um also this picks up light quite a bit better than my computer camera that's what I originally used the original design I had the pipe sticking in that way I I know it would get in and it wouldn't so to say dirty the threads. And if you look down there, um, see how I also have that uh, drain pipe? I purposely did that, again, that way the threads won't um, get uh, dirty and Sorry, I'm reaching around for a uh, tape measure. Um, I sort of loosely based it off of, uh, I did some measuring and some, and the bottom of the threads is about half an inch from the bottom. So I think that's a roughly good measurement for the drain because you can see that there is some space in the bottom. It's not completely empty, but it'll get a good portion of it out. And I didn't want to go too far down or too high. So I think that is about right. Um, this is one inch diameter aluminum, just any standard aluminum. And for the main body, it's 1.88, so you're going to need roughly 2 inch aluminum, or you could go 1 and 7 eighths, would be fine. Um, you just have slightly thinner side walls. Um, it's just what I had. I got these two pieces as 
as uh, scrap at at uh, at the uh, yeah LSC. Um, originally I was going to do threads here, but I, after talking with a couple of people, I think my instructor, he said just do press fit, and I, it is actually better than press fit, or better than threads, sorry, my mind's a little scattered. Um, this chamfer right here was there, I just figured out it was 55 degrees. It's an eyeball angle, but... I like it. It gives it a nice soft edge. I did relieve all the edges so it's not sharp. When you machine metal, it can get sharp. So, um, originally when I did this, um, this is pointed down. This is an exaggeration because of the drill. Um, I would have loved it like this, but. If I was going to do this over again, I would just have it straight and I would get have a lathe and keep it on the lathe instead of taking it in and out, in and out. Because I spent, I was at school for four, eh, roughly four hours and I did it over two weeks. Um, so I would do it in one shot and not take each part out individually. I would fully machine one part completely. And move on to the next. That way, I don't have any like this isn't perfectly concentric with the body, with the body. But heck, it's unique. And what do you expect? Um, I would love to get a chuffing pot from Oz Steam Demon, but I don't know what he charges. But for someone that wants just a nice, simple. Chuffing pot slash condensate trap. This will work just fine. Um, feel free to email me about uh, the drawings. I will get a better picture since I got a better camera. Um, and I, the next video you'll see, hopefully, is this thing running with its new uh, drain. And I'll talk to you later. See you in the next. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Next video. Bye.